Hey guys, Connor here. Welcome back to another Elder Scrolls Online video. Today we're going to be getting off the boat and doing the first Owl Mary Dominion quest. Uh, go into the tutorial area because that's, you know, we have to quest there anyway eventually at some point. So, and you know, uh, the start of the series, might as well go and do, you know, the standard stuff that you'd do if you were playing this. Just going to loot this boat quickly, see what there is here. Uh, not much by the looks of it. Sailor. Okay, nothing too interesting. More sailors. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for in here. So let's get out, I think. Let's get some apples, maybe. Tomatoes, even. But yeah, so we're going to be doing the first Admiral Dominion quest here. And, uh, yeah. Let's just get to it. So what's around this way? Is there anything useful? Bookshelf. We need to definitely start the Major's Guild quest at some point and definitely focus on that to get the law, uh, law book tracker thing. It's always useful because I love uh, I love to get law books in this game. Anyway, so we got a mount, I do believe. Yeah, we got the Imperial one equipped. So there was actually some new crown shop stuff, nothing too special, just outfits, I believe. Um, are they? Yeah, here, need a karma, and there's some down here as well. Noble suit, noble dress, and wedding suit. So nothing too special. Um, yeah, let's just get into these quests then. Captain Tremuli. I was worried you'd never wake up. You slept all the way from Canarthi's roost, right through the hurricane. Hurricane? What hurricane? You don't remember? A Khajiit named Razumdar fished you out of the ocean. He paid me a small fortune to bring you here. We barely made it out of Canarthi's roost before the hurricane hit. So where is Razam Darnay? He was headed to Eagle Strand, an old fort on Canarthi's roost. My ship won't return there for some time, but a bosun on the far dock can take you. Look for a sugar claws. Right, yeah, well, I might do that. Well, that's that. So, I might go and do that now, and what's that? Talk to Captain Oren Fair. Honestly, I'm just going to go straight for that because it's you know, the, um, you know, part of the main quest, so, I don't flame increased yet. So yeah, I mean, this will probably will be, um, basically how it works is, you have the tutorial area over here, so that's like, tutorial, that's, sorry, the tutorial area is for like levels 1 to 5, I believe, or something like that. And, uh, yeah, basically, like, you know, you can learn what to do if you don't know already. But yeah, so I'm just going to do this to actually sort of go with the, you know, as if I was actually starting off. So, um, yeah, let's just get to it. We'll come back to this area, obviously, afterwards we've done the tutorial. Because, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, sugar calls. What is it? Is this about the fish? I took what I paid for. Um, never mind. What do you want? I want to travel to Canarthi's Roost. Good. I have business on Canarthi's Roost. Passage is free. The inspectors won't be looking for <laughs> two of us. Uh... So yeah, let's actually let's not get us have a look. Can we get a blacksmith here? Where's the blacksmith? It's over there. Honestly, yeah, let's just travel. They'll probably have one over there anyway. Ready to travel. Canarthi's roost. Take a screenshot. Oh, okay, missed it. I wish they gave you like longer times to look at the actual description of the area because it kind of just skips. It's probably a glitch, but I'm not quite sure. But I mean, yeah, it's, it's kind of annoying. Like if you want to look at the actual description of the place you're going to. I mean, I've heard, that's me personally, anyway. I don't know how many of you are actually interested in that, but... I don't know, I kind of like the lore and stuff, so... Anyway, we're here now. Nice looking area. Apparently I'm inside this... Okay. What is that, High Elf or a Nord, or... High Elf, I believe. Anyway. Razamdar. Honestly, I'm surprised we heard him from that far away, but... You know. <laughs> kind of don't like the fact that like most Khajiits are actually like portrayed as being like criminals and stuff. Kind of like not all of them are, but I mean, yeah. I don't, anyway, what do you mean? <laughs> so why did you send me to the Vol Volkul Guard? Some, uh, delicacy. This one 
did not know how your presence here would change it. But honestly, Raz is glad you returned. You may be just what he needs. Why do you need me? First, a question. Where did you come from? Uh, let's be honest, straight up. So, Cold Harbor, Mirag's Bow, Mirag Bow's realm, uh, he plans to invade Tamriel. A Daedric prince, you say? Raz has a nose for lying, but you seem clean as an ocean breeze. Hmm. If anyone else asks you, where will you say you came from? Again, I'll just be honest. Cold Harbor, Mirag Bow possesses my soul. Tamriel is in great danger. Another thing I don't like is that it doesn't give you like full. Obviously, like it's kind of hard to implement uh, like a load of choices. But again, like it says here, why should I trust you or who are you? Like, why can I not just get right into it? You know, I don't have to. I, I don't want to get to know everyone or like tell them that I don't trust them or you know like something like that. I'd rather just like get straight to it sometimes, but not all the times. So, you know, sometimes it's nice to do that. But I mean, yeah. So why should I trust you? You should not. You should trust your instinct. Leave if you wish. No one will stop you. Or come with Raz and do what you can to help us recover. In the process, grow your stature and wealth. It is entirely up to you. Why are you helping me? Because you are no soldier, which is useful. <laughs> you can speak with the locals. Assure them we are not invaders or marauders. Now come. Let us try to fit in. Very well. So I guess we just, okay, we just yeah. Right then, so hopefully there's a blacksmith here. I'm not seeing one. But I'm guessing we kind of have to. This is a big place for a starting area, why? Not sure that. What is it? I can't even remember the name there, never mind. We don't lot like strangers here. Oh, this is Valenwood, maybe? Is this Valenwood? I'm not quite sure. Wood Elves. Um, yeah, let's just. Oh, wait. No, okay, yeah. We need a merch, uh, blacksmith to be honest, but yeah, Commander Karanith. Glad you're up and about, recruit. I'm in need of a scout to head to Shattered Shoals. I went at the Arch Elves, yeah. Fleet foundered to the west. Yeah. We've had few survivors trickle in from that direction. Yeah, no, um... Wait, I'm confused. Oh, so we're in the... Yeah, right, I'm in the... Okay, I got confused there. We're in the Dominion, so there's High Elves and Wood Elves. Okay. Uh, but yeah, what do you need exactly? We captured a sea viper spying on the camp. Those pirates never travel alone. Find out if they're around Shattered Shoals, and if so, what they're doing on this island. Of course, you should assist any shipwreck survivors you find. We must each do our part. Right now, do what I can. Before you head to Shattered Shoals, speak with Eelsil. He just returned from exploring a nearby temple. That wizard claims to know something <laughs> about everything. So he may have insight on how these sea vipers operate. Right, yeah, then goodbye. So again, we kind of need a blacksmith, but I mean, I guess we can skip that for a bit. How much inventory space do we start off with? Kind of forgot. So you start off with 60 inventory space. I've got a skill that I can level up here as well. Do I get... Honestly, I kind of feeling Dark Talons or Searing Strike. Let's go for this one, yeah. I'm going for L1 on there. There we go. All right, min hour. I went to eel still. Marvelous, isn't it? We'll have to construct a special room for the morning stone when we bring it back to the major guild. I'm sorry. Did you need something? Yeah, Commander Karanith said you returned from a nearby temple. Yes, the temple of the morning springs is an old Khajiit ruin not far from here. We excavated the morning stone from one of the chambers. As you can see, its supply of water appears endless. Did you encounter any sea vipers? What do you mean, pirates? In an ancient Khajiit temple? Preposterous! All we saw were the undead warriors that overran our camp. Why were you attacked by the undead? I have no idea. Actually, I have 12 ideas. <laughs> they are far less fascinating than the Morning Stone. Probably some sort of ancient curse. It usually is with these things. So what can you tell me about the sea vipers? Sea elf pirates. To my recollection, they aren't known to raid Kanapi's roost. Oh, and they have a thing for snakes. 
but I'm sure um, we both have more important matters to attend. Uh, if you okay, they have a thing for snakes. That's uh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure what, in what way he meant that, but I mean. Well, yeah, we're just ignore that fact for now. Probably not the most important of things. Oh, so slow. He's definitely sort of great in speed and stamina and stuff. This horse. There, see? You fit in and no one will stop you from walking away. But as this one said, there are opportunities for people that fall from the sky. Are you listening, my friend? <laughs> Terrible. Alright, anything else? And where are you headed? Oh, there's far less glamorous work to be done in this story. At the northern end of the island. Let's meet up there after you've done what you decide to do. Until then, right. Okay, so I think I'm not sure, but I think this is kinda like the other I can't remember what it is. It's over it's in the Ebon Heart Pack, the first quest there. I can't remember, I've been there for some some time. It's um Oh, it's over there, so hang on. Sorry, I have to find it, otherwise it's gonna annoy me. So it's up here, the island there, uh, Bleak Rock Isle. So yeah, in Bleak Rock you have to kind of find the survivors scattered around the island and then bring them to the main bit of the thing. I think that's kind of like this, uh, from what I've gathered here. So slow, wow. I do not remember it being so slow. I guess it's been a while, so. Kartinrik, okay. What are you? Foolish spirit. My ambition brought me low. But I won't allow it to happen to another. The book before you bears a terrible curse, as do two others. You can hear it call to you, yes? No, I only hear you. But how? Are you strong enough to resist their call? Could you bring them to the shrine and finish what I did not? Heed my words. The forbidden knowledge within those books isn't for this world. They must be destroyed. Tell me what I would need to do. The curse of each tongue is designed to feed souls to oblivion. But if you are able to resist their call, you can collect the tomes and bring them to the shrine for their destruction. Where is this shrine? On the shores of Kanarthi's Roost, beyond the town of Mistral. It is lit by an ever-burning flame. Should you collect all the tomes, bring them to the shrine without delay. Strong, you believe you are. I fear the tones are strong. Okay, okay, goodbye. Masterwork of the intrus or introducer, inducer even. Alright, so we got that one. And that's how she died. I think that was her. Could have been someone else. So yeah, like when I quest, usually I don't really. Um, there's no structure to what I do. I kind of just go like walk around and just find things as I go and sort of do them, you know, as I find them. So it's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to stick to the quest so that I get as much as possible. But yeah, honestly, yeah, it's just. I'm gonna try, yeah, because I need to do some sort of, I need to make progress in episodes, so I'm gonna try to, you know, make as much progress as possible. Asbira. See, they're not all bad, that's what I like about the Jeets. They're, quite, they're portrayed as being like bad, villainous, sort of like skooma consuming people, or cats, I guess. I mean, I, I like them, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> what happened here? Okay, <laughs> never mind. He ran inside and the burns weren't bad. But the sweet smoke ruined his lungs. Without powerful medicine, tools, if they 
survived the fire. I could trade them for medicine. Please, it's all I can do to keep my father alive. This one begs you to salvage the tools from our storehouses. Okay, I'll find that, or I'll find any tools that survived the fire. With the tools, if I can. Yep, let's do that. Get the book, Zalaman's journal. So yeah, I'm gonna try and just stick to the quests I think now because yeah, it's been 15 minutes. I haven't really done anything, so yeah, I'm gonna try and actually do the quests I've got here. So I'm gonna go dark knowledge. Actually, wait, let's have a look. So that's kind of scattered. It's not too far. And then again, let's just go to this mm, again. Well, let's do this one, the family. But yeah, we'll do the one we just got. So yeah, I want to try and do at least one quest per episode, and then maybe do like one or two, um, like, what, I forgot what they're called, like, areas, um, like, boss enemy area things, like, you know, somewhere in the world. Officer Lauren. I haven't seen you around the island before. In the name of Thalmor, what's your business here? I didn't plan to come to this island, actually. <laughs> I'll be careful. I should get back to our inspection. If you see anything suspicious, it's your duty to let us know. Fires don't start themselves. Right, uh, the fire injured the, the fire injured the fire injured one of the plantation's farmers. Saw him on the way in. We gave his daughter some medical supplies, but he looks bad. And yeah, not worried about the farm more just yet. So I'm kind of worried we're not going to get anything done and this will have to be like a two part episode or like yeah two part episode like part one and two but I don't know yeah hopefully you like the first episode of this though it's going to be every day like I said or every other day like I said and I mean you know it was um I, I liked it we didn't get much done to be honest but I mean you know it's whatever last warning cap what's this oh hello oh we haven't got any summons damn Oh, that actually works pretty well, okay. L1 is the way to go here. Rats. I might as well kill these with guts, because oh, I didn't even drop any. What's this? Can I use it? There we go. Smoldering alchemical, um, alchemical tools, even. Ruined them. Honestly, I'm, fe I'm feeling like I might upload like two or three parts a day of this. But like, like every other day. But I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll have to think about it. It depends how much I actually get done in the episodes. Because, well, yeah, I mean... Get off my Shut up. <laughs> I'm so scared. I, I'm so mean to people sometimes. Uh, As we were asked me to look for our chemical tools. She's with your father. He's he was gravely injured in the fire. You lie! My father left yesterday to trade in Mistral, didn't he? No. He set the fires to destroy those damn tools. Whoa. Anyone, not to hurt my father. Why would you burn your family's plantation? We lost our last harvest to the Thunderbirds, despite the death. As Bira bought alchemical tools to improve our crop, she said. But last week. I yeah okay this guy's actually really cool I don't like skewer cats or skewer kajits even uh, but yeah how do I know you're telling the truth or will you burn uh, why burn everything to do? yeah uh, how do I know you're telling the truth Sure, I'll get it for it. My sister placed colorful seashells near whatever she buried. I bet there is a sack full of skooma vials next to them. I'll be with my father. If you find anything, bring it back to me. I'll bring any skooma I find to you. I should really go check on my father. All right, then let's go to the skooma. 
kind of a long way to go just to brew some skooma. I mean, actually, it's just yeah, it's kind of, yeah, quite a long way from the house. I mean, yes, it's how you hide things. To be fair, so alright, we found that place, which is where we need to go for the main quest of this area. Yeah, definitely need to upgrade the speed of this horse. So slow. Let's get this one. Oh, okay, so she's doing it for her, like, to keep her family safe, I guess. Oh, I keep think thinking I have a staff for my other character. I have to get used to it. So, yeah, I assume that's what's going on here. Packed mound. She's probably brewing it to actually keep her plantation safe. And we probably have to sort of save them from the bandits, I guess, as well. Just guessing. I, I haven't played this before, as I said, because, you know, I... I uh, if you start in the Ebonheart Pact, you go to the Daggerfall Covenant and then the Albury Dominion. Uh, start in the Daggerfall Covenant, you go to Ebonheart Pact. Oh no, you don't. You go to the Albury Dominion and then the Ebonheart Pact. And if you start in the Albury Dominion, you go to the Pact and then the, uh, the, the Covenant. So yeah, I definitely, you know, I can't have played this before, just for anyone wondering. We leveled up there, that's so always good. So again, I got a great sword, but I'm not going to be going for that. So... No title just yet. Uh, we need some magicka, but honestly, I think health and health and stamina are going to be like the main things right now. We use kind of I don't know. Can we get a uh, imperial skills in there? What did it just say? I didn't read that. Um, I don't know. I mean, one handed we need to actually start and get working on medium armor, heavy armor. Honestly, I think I might just keep that. Let's get this quest done because I'm worried that I'm aware that the episode is uh, coming to an end here, going for about 20 minutes almost. Probably a bit more than that actually. So there's quests up there, but honestly, like, oh, if I was on my other character and not recording, I would just go straight for that quest and do them any any random order that's like closest to where I am. Because like obviously I'm recording the video, uh, I'm recording a video on this. So I have to sort of have some structure to it. But yeah, so um, that's that. Come here. Okay. I asked around. Nobody from sh Could you not please yell it, yell it even? Oh, now he just runs away. I hate that about the game. Oh well. I asked around. Nobody from the shipwreck remembers seeing you before Eagle Strand. No more lies. You're running skooma, aren't you? I work for myself, and I'm not running skooma. Uh, let me speak with the family. I'll prove I'm not involved. Find time to get your story straight. Go ahead. I'll be right over here. One morning, my ears are as sharp as my dagger. I'll prove it to you if you even try to whisper. Okay, that's nice. The mama. My father is dead, and now this dominion outsider wants to throw me in prison. They see me out evidence of skooma in the storehouses, but that isn't possible. I found what was buried under the shells. Then, Professor Lorin found nothing in the storehouses but suspicion. She's bluffing. What will you tell her? I'll do what I believe is right. Okay. How do I... That was pointless then, to be honest. Oh right, okay, that didn't actually help me at all, so I found the screw on the beach. That's a lot of screw. I had my doubts, but I'm glad you came to your senses. Now, what should I do with you? What else are you hiding? Uh a cross tree bandit tried to take skewer. Explains why cross tree bandits popped up all around the island. If they're running more and more skooma, they'll approach farmers to brew it directly. That kind of short sighted greed is what leads to situations like this. So what happens to me now? That sack of skooma bought your freedom and a reward for your cooperation. Now stand aside. I've got business with these. Guys. I mean, you probably should be lenient. The father just died, but okay, yes. I can apparently help. This is what you get for brewing skooma. It 
It's a long walk to Mistral. Don't try anything stupid. See, why can't I? So is he? I'm. I yeah. I don't know. So that'll be the end of this episode, guys. Um, I know I haven't got a lot done. It'll probably be like one quest per episode, to be honest, because obviously I can't upload like big, uh, big episodes. So apologize, apologies for that. I will try and do more in the future, like try and actually be more productive. Uh, we have skills. We really spend this. Whole, so we have to, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, improved hiding. That's. Reduces stamina cost of sneaking. Honestly, should we just give heavy armor? We're gonna be using that a lot. Um, increases your armor for each piece of. See, we really haven't actually got any heavy armor yet, apart from the girdle, though. So there's not really any point there. One-handed, I definitely need to do or you know, get at some point. Uh, honestly, I'm thinking we should probably just try and get one of these dark talons. Oh wait, have we got any of those? We have not. Hmm. Slam the enemy with solid rot. Honestly, I think we should just go for this. Just to spend the skill point for now. So yeah, that'll be the end of this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, leave tips and comments and, you know, uh, if you... Yeah, no, wait, sorry, sorry. If you like, leave a comment below as to, you know, what you liked and what you'd like me to improve. Leave tips and suggestions as well so I can get better as well. Again, even... Sorry, rubbish intro, to, uh, outro today. But yeah, so leave comments and tips and suggestions in the comments below and yeah so i'll see you guys next time peace